that is what I have to do in this G-Wagon because I don't have an auxiliary cable for this stereo unit. Hi, welcome back to Rolling Stonks. My name is CJ and today we're going to be installing an aux cord connector in my 2004 Mercedes G500. This is a service bulletin that explains how to install the auxiliary input harness. This install is supposed to be fairly straightforward. I found this unit here on the G-Wagon Club forums. I'll go ahead and put a link to this file in the description below. This information here will tell you the parts you need, which is this guy here, which includes an aux piece here, and then this end of the cord here, which has to get cut off. And these guys here, of course, all my stuff's flying around. These things here actually get spliced or crimped on the end where this connector is cut off. So we need to cut this connector off, somehow install these, which are like 10 bucks a piece, by the way, which is crazy for these dumb little things. And we'll have to remove the glove box and we'll have to remove the command unit. This unit here, these handles always break. I've actually fixed this one, so I don't need to replace the whole glove box. If you guys wanna know how to fix this handle that breaks off frequently, check out my other video. There's a kit that a guy on the Mercedes Club G-Wagon forums sells, and when it's installed, this handle actually works very well. It's much stronger than the stock one, and I get to keep my original glove box. I have never removed one of these before, but I can see right away there's a screw there, a screw there, and then two more down here. So let's start with removing those four screws, and who knows, maybe the glove box will pop right out. All right, four screws, here we go. Wow, it's almost like this has been removed before. Oh, <laughs> wow, that was so easy, guys. Now there's a connector back here you gotta be careful of, but that just comes out and boom, there it is. There is the Mercedes G-Wagon glove box. That was really easy, guys. Four screws, this thing's out. Now that we've got the glove box out, let's get the command unit out. This is the head unit for the G500, commonly known as the command unit with one M. The first thing we need to do is actually move this so that I can get this drawer out. There's a couple screws in here and this little tray slides out. You just pull that and that little guy comes out there. Yes, right there you can see a Torx screw and I believe there's another one that's supposed to be on this side and it's missing. So that's good. I'll need to get a new one of those. Before we do that though, let's get this gear shifter out of the way. I'm just gonna turn the car into accessory mode, put the brake on and put it into drive. This is a T20 Torx or star bit. And I believe the other side is supposed to be, of course mine is missing. So we'll get some hardware from the hardware store later, but we'll just remove this screw here and not lose it. Put it in the drawer, and now that slides right out. Close that. Boom. Now there are some electrical connectors back there, so we'll get those unplugged. Typical. There we go. Okay, it's actually that clip right there. Now that we've got that drawer removed, before we remove the wood trim, this piece has got to come out here, the uh, locking differential controls. Now this is a very, very important tool. If you guys don't have one of these and you work on cars, you're not doing it right. You need to get one of these. This dumb little piece of plastic that's probably a several cent piece of plastic has probably saved me thousands of dollars in damaged vehicle parts. So we'll go ahead and use our awesome little pry tool here and we'll take this guy out here. And I think it just, yeah, there it goes. It just pops out, so. No bolts or anything holding this guy on. She just comes right out. There it is. Now up in here is the last screw. It's just a regular Phillips head. We'll go ahead and get this out. And once this is out, bingo. Go ahead and set that aside where we're not gonna lose it. And now this piece pops right out. Look at that. Sheesh, not a lot holding that in there. Let's get that out of the way here. Pop that sort of back in there. And look at that. 
that's off and that's off all right there it is that piece is removed and i didn't break it yay okay and here we have the command unit now there's just four screws here so we'll go ahead and take these four screws out and i'm guessing this puppy will slide right out all right all four phillips head screws are out now this look at that just slides on out now we have all these connectors we have to undo you just squeeze the levers and gently slide them on out some of these have these little slide locks they're pretty easy to get out there is the mercedes g-wagon head unit all removed from its home we have gotten the command unit out and we've gotten the glove box out and now we can see our plug that we'll be installing our aux cable into the next thing we have to do is drill a hole in the glove box so this instruction sheet tells you where to make an 18.8 millimeter hole now that's a 0.75 inch hole so it's a three quarter inch hole kind of a large hole i don't even have a bit big enough to make that kind of a hole so we're going to improvise a little bit i'm going to go ahead and draw an 18.8 millimeter hole and then we'll have to sort of drill it out with bits it says measure and mark the glove compartment left side at the point where 80 millimeter from the back edge and 30 millimeter from the bottom edge so 80 millimeter let's go ahead and mark that let's mark that there my cat's whining. Okay, so that's 80 from the back and then 30 millimeters from the bottom edge. So let's go 30 millimeters. There we go from the bottom edge. So actually pretty much right where I put that dot, crazy enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and do an 18.8 millimeter hole or circle. So there's that edge, there's that edge, there's that edge, and there's that edge. So our hole's gonna look something like this. There, that's gonna be our hole. Oh boy, drilling into a Mercedes part always makes me a little nervous. All right. This is not an 18.8 millimeter hole. It's actually roughly a 20.6 millimeter hole. So we didn't do the greatest job here because I didn't have the right tool, but since it's in the glove box and it won't be seen, I'm not too concerned. Hopefully our plug fits and we don't have any problems. The next steps they want us to do is to install the connector in the hole that we just made. However, I'm gonna skip to this step because this is the one I'm the most nervous about and I want that cord to not be connected to a big bulky glove box while I'm working on it. Next step is this. Yay, wire crimping. I've never done this before with these particular connectors. These connectors are $10 a piece. So I bought five in case I screw one up, but I don't have a lot of buffer room here. It's always great when you're about to destroy a potentially very expensive Mercedes part. Clip, boom. We'll go ahead and strip these. Now, I want to make sure that these are about the same length as those. I don't want to strip these too far. So it looks like roughly half inch should be fine. Perfect. Okay, we've got all these stripped and twisted. And now comes probably the scariest part of this whole install. Installing $10 terminals. Okay, I just had some help and you can see this one's actually installed right. I think that one's still gonna work, so I'm gonna leave it for now. I'll show you guys how this works though. I'm gonna try and do it this way. I'm gonna put that in there like that first. And this should work. Look at that. Awesome. I still have an extra connector in case one of these doesn't work. Look at that. Okay. Let's get them on here like that. This actually isn't that hard once you figure out the little tricks. Oh, that was not one of them. These need to be like perfectly aligned with the tool for this to work right. Okay, there we go. Yeah. 
and crimp. Bingo. There we go. And we've installed all four of our connectors. Now we can take this into the car and get it plugged in. And I have located the connector we're supposed to be using. Now on the instructions, it shows this thing sliding out of here. And on this one, you can see it's in there. There it goes, got it. Okay, so you do push on that. Boy, I almost destroyed it, but we got it out of here. So now all we need to do is insert these connectors. So we've got our plug here and it shows on here where these plugs go. So we're gonna go ahead and insert these. So we'll just run this along with the other ones here. There we go. No problem. Easy peasy. Now that we've got our cable run through, let's get the terminals installed. Yellow wire into pin four. That's this one here. One, two, three, four. All right, here we go. And there's no going back. Boom. Brown wire into pin five. There we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Okay, that's two. Thin black wire into pin 13. We're going to go ahead and take that and mount him into this one here behind the yellow. And we're going to go ahead and mount this thick black wire into pin 14, which is behind pin 5, which is where the brown wire went. So this goes behind the brown wire. So, boy, these are real finicky. Come on, guy, let's do this and let's do it right. Come on. Yes. 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 And. And. Come on. Boom. I need to get that thin black one to lock in there. Let's go, guy. Boom. I heard the click. All right, they're all in. Oh, ho, 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 ho. We have the hardest part done. Let's go ahead and slide this back in here like this. So we'll just go like this. Boom. And she's back home. We now have our auxiliary cable connected. So we're gonna wanna get this connected to the glove box, but before we do, let's test it and make sure it works. All right, that is everything for the stereo. So let's get these wires back there. We'll just pop that in there. I've got my auxiliary cord, which is connected to my computer. Here's the connector I just installed. We'll plug that in. We'll turn that on. Probably gonna be on the radio because that's what we always use in here. To get to the aux, we'll just hit service. We'll go to aux and it says auxiliary source. So let's see if it works. I'm gonna hit play. We're gonna turn the volume up. Oh, buddy, it works. Yes, yes. We now have auxiliary audio in the G-Wagon. Thank God I don't have to listen to the radio and commercials anymore. Yes, I'm so stoked this worked, guys. Let's get everything buttoned back up and we'll close out this video. We do have one last step here, and that is to actually install this connector in the hole we made in the glove box. So let me go get that. I imagine this will be pretty easy. Let's see how it works. Remove the quick release connector from the auxiliary input harness connector. Okay, there it goes. Now we're gonna take this as I destroy the interior of my car. And we're going to insert the auxiliary connector into the drill hole from outside. Be sure the edge of the Glove compartment hole inserts into the groove in the connector. Looks like our holes is roughly the right size. Boom. Wants us to face it that way. Okay. From inside the glove compartment, lock the connector in place by inserting the quick release connector into the connector face. Be sure the spines of the quick release lock insert into the corresponding notches in the connector. That's not going anywhere. Let me show you guys what this looks like. There it is. There's the aux connector from inside, and here it is on the outside. 
Now, it's not the prettiest thing from that angle, but that's going to be hidden behind there, so I'm not too worried about it. This, you're really only going to be able to see from inside the glove box, and there's going to be a cord connected to it, so I'm not too worried about that either. I think we get all this stuff back in here, get our trim reinstalled, and we're done with this job! Heck yeah! Now it's time for the final test to make sure that everything works the way it's supposed to with everything installed. Great, that's not coming out. We got that there. We've got power. Service, auxiliary. And... Yes! Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I love it when projects like this turn out, guys. I'm so stoked on this. I can finally listen to my own music in my own car. That does it for the G-Wagon Auxiliary Input Connector Install. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this helped some of you guys get some audio in your own G-Wagon. If it did, please give this video a like. If you guys like content on cars like this that now have the ability to play music from a phone or anything else with a headphone output, please subscribe to my channel. Peace out. Rock on.